Hey there, LEGO fans. We have a very special uh, guest here today on our channel. We are here with uh, Jody, who is one half of the Face Brickup team, who are working on a very special LEGO Ideas project. Uh, hello, Jody. Hello. Nice to, nice to finally speak to you. You are uh, half of the team. Roberto could not be here with us today, unfortunately. But uh, tell us a bit about yourselves. Okay. We are both uh, Italian. Um... The name is Face Brick Up because it, it is a mix uh, between the Face Brick, which is me, this is Face Brick, uh, mm -hmm. and the Brick Up, uh, which is him. And uh, for, fortunately, the, the two names could combine into one. And uh, we are friends, uh, both are 40 years old. Uh, so we are based in different towns in Italy and we met because of Lego. And one of the first things that we had in mind was to enter on ideas because, uh, you know, uh, it's uh, very, very nice. Uh, and uh, you have the chance to meet a lot of people uh, and to interact with other people. So we, we, we decided to enter, but we didn't have a, a, a precise idea of what was a nice project to, to submit. So we tried several, several different things, uh, but every time uh, one of the two said, no, this is not working, or no, I don't want to realize that, then uh, it was uh, like, uh, I, I believe six months ago, we were both a little bit too because of the virus and the, of the situation, and we were like, uh, okay, let's make it real. Let's enter really for ideas uh, this time. Uh, let's check uh, our, our our ideas. And when I say the, what why don't we do Chucky and the Chocolate Factory? Because everybody loves that. He said, "Oh, okay, this is perfect. This is a perfect idea." I already am, am picturing my, the scene in my mind. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said that uh, he, he he saw the bricks connecting uh, while we were talking. It was uh, like a dream for us, uh, which is, was taking shape day by day. Uh, connecting the bricks, uh, saying, okay, this is good, but this is not working. Uh, and um, yeah, uh, in, at the end of the, the year, the, ter the 31 uh, of uh, December, we said, okay, this is perfect, we can submit that to Lego. But Lego took a, a week uh, to approve the project because there was uh, there were some problems in it, because in one uh, picture there were uh, hands and uh, stuff ah. like that. You cannot put... Uh, uh, Human parts. Uh, ah, yes, I understand. Mm -hmm. There was someone in the picture, basically. So yeah, yeah. And uh, in another one, there was uh, Roberto's kitchen because we mm -hmm. made a, a photo montage uh, about uh, uh, the project, uh, which is realized in the studio on his kitchen table. But Lego doesn't want the kitchen table to be part of the of the submission. I understand. So, they rejected two times at the third time. Finally, we get the on the seventh of January to be approved, mm -hmm. and then the the adventure started, and it was fantastic because uh, you know our Facebook page has a little following. You know we are not really nobody, but it's like uh, like one thousand followers him and uh, like. Nearly 2,000 followers. Me, but you know, you have to push people to accept to lose some few minutes to go on the site to vote for you. It's mm -hmm. not easy. And we were really surprised that in the first six hours, we reached 100 voters in six oh, wow. hours. Nice. Because we, we just put it on, on the Facebook groups and uh, I just put it on WhatsApp groups where one go by friends say, oh, Look at that. This is mine. Vote for me. I right. think it can become a real legal fan. Yeah, the, uh, Facebook groups can really help with uh, spreading the word about your project. I've seen this. You know, uh, yeah. It, it, it does work, but on the other side, Facebook is something you use when you are just browsing, you are not right. really engaged. So to think that you have to convert someone who is simply browsing on a, a Facebook page and convert them to actually go on the site and click and make a profile the, and everything yeah yeah it, 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 it's very you know um and the other problem is with, within the algorithm 
of Facebook. Because if you enter right. a group with five or six thousand people who can actually vote for you, but if you do publish your post, only a small percentage of the world right. will see it. You have to be very specific with uh, targeting uh, certain people to, to get them to click. Otherwise, yeah. You actually kind of uh, uh, started answering another question here because I wanted to ask you. Uh, no, it's fine. Uh, I wanted to ask you if uh, you started your project digitally or if you went through like the physical stage. But you told me you actually you actually built it with real bricks at first. Yes, um, but the main problem is that you know uh, we, we had to built out of the real bricks to see if there was some connectivity problems or, or stuff like right. that. But the colors, uh, apart from the fact that we don't own all, the, all, all those bricks, uh, and we had to try different colors, uh, but probably the main problem is that Lego didn't even produce uh, some of these bricks in those colors. Uh, right, so right. We didn't want to uh, you know, uh, limit our fantasy out of the colors that are already produced. Uh, since Lego is known that uh, for Lego ideas uh, can produce new right. um, colors of the same existing parts. So there are, uh, if anyone searches right now on Lego ideas for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, there are several projects. And um, what what uh, do you think gives you the advantage? What what makes your project more special? What makes it stand out uh, co compared to the other uh, chocolate factories? Let's call them. I don't think that those projects are are bad. I mean, uh, I, it's, 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 it's something that we love. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we appreciate the fact that there, that there are that there are other people loving the same fact, the same property. What I think is that we are really on the project. Uh, uh, every every single second that we are not spending out our you know eating uh, daytime work or something mm -hmm. like that, we are spending it it on looking for someone that can uh, advertise our project. We mm -hmm. went uh, on three, no, I think five different uh, uh, Italian websites, uh, and we went on uh, one of the biggest Italian radio also. So. Uh, I am just pressing people I know because uh, they have to publish me and uh, I just keep on sending them stuff, uh, sending them uh, pictures, sending them uh, invites to. And those people sometimes, sometimes are receptive, like the one of the radio uh, that decided to host me for uh, a minute uh, and in which I had time to speak about the project. Uh, maybe those, those are the projects. Uh, that I'm not involving all that media attention. I don't know. Uh, or maybe they are just saying, okay, I have two years to gather all the votes, uh, so I, I can take it easy. We right. don't want to take it easy. You know, I have 758 days left. But right. my main problem is that if I lose some room in the first positions in the home page, the casual voters who go on the site uh, without a, an, any specific idea won't see me and won't vote right. for me. They'll just vote and the first chocolate factory that they see because they won't, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that is the main part. Mm -hmm. And the, one of the things is that, um, you know, for the, uh, um, you know, for the uh, uh, poll about uh, the, um, the team that Lego is going to produce for the 19, mm -hmm. for the 90 years of the uh, anniversary sorry and a lot of people w went on the site really a lot of people went on the site to vote and we get uh, we got like 400 votes in two days uh, that we ah, that's that. interesting yeah because just because there of, yeah there was so much attention on the on the page that uh-huh that's interesting yeah. that brought attention on all the projects i saw that all the projects that were on the first position so I mean, the first 10, the first 20 projects got a lot of votes altogether. I did, I did not expect that, but it, it makes sense now that you mention it. Yeah, that's uh, that's very cool. So where did uh, where did your inspiration for the project come from? Uh, we know it's uh, uh, the story started out as a book by Roald Dahl. There were two movies made. Where did you uh, find your inspiration for this project? Uh, actually, uh, in the beginning, we were. Uh, very interested uh, in uh, the uh, movies. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. But um, we just want to honor where it all started. And it all started from the book. So our chocolate factory is Charlie and the chocolate factory because it comes from the book with the same name. And the characters uh, I can uh, tell you that are going up and are going to be revised because uh, people made us think about them because uh, actually as they are now they look too much at the Tim Burton movie. I see. And and probably uh, we you know my main problem was that if you take them straight from the book they look really you know not modern not actual um, they look very retro uh, characters and maybe they can not be appealing to today's kids ah uh, right so we are um, launching as soon as possible because uh, we already did an edit on the, the project and legal allows only one per month Editor. I was going to ask that. So there, you get one per month? Yeah, you can, edit the pro- you can update the project as much as you want, but you can only uh, update the whole project one per month. So That's a lot more I, often than I thought. I thought they would only give you like maybe one change forever for a project, like one sh- chance to, to change something. But that's that's interesting. That's nice that you can uh, do that. Yeah, we can do that, but of course there are some rules, like they say that you cannot change a boat into an airplane or something like right, that. Right, of course, yeah, that changes the project completely then. As long as we, don't, we won't change anything in the model, we just start changing the, mini, the mini figures. Mm-hmm. And the mini, uh, the mini figures uh, are going to be revised, uh, um, and there will uh, be something uh, uh, totally, uh, you know, uh, uh, like... Uh, people are really thinking about what really want. Uh, and since uh, the main uh, idea people have when thinking about what really want uh, is like Gene Wilder's one. Uh, I can uh, tell you in, uh, in advance that it will uh, look a lot like Gene Wilder when it's over. Mm-hmm. We are doing all the rendering of, uh, again of the minifigure fresh new, mm-hmm. and uh, they are nearly ready, but we have to wait uh, 10 days to right update the project. The main problem is that we are not very advertising project as the stage as it is now because we would advertise the old one. Right. The old characters. Mm-hmm. So we stopped all our, our, our advertising because uh, we, we think that uh, it's uh, useless to, to advertise much uh, as the minifigures as they are now. Right. And we will start again in 10 days and our expectation and hope is that we don't lose positions in the home page so that when we will start doing uh, again some advertising we will benefit of course of the people randomly going on the site right uh would you say would you say promotion takes up more time and effort than the actual making of the project no i wouldn't say that because the actual making of the project took us uh, like months and then oh. uh, the actual time uh, about uh, promoting the project is, uh, you know, uh, one month mm-hmm. from, uh, up to now. So as, as much as, as for now, the, the making of the project took, took time, you know, more, more time. Uh, at the end of the day, you cannot know because uh, uh, we don't know if we eat 10,000 and when we do. And all our ropes are based on the fact that we're writing the project will drive the votes from all the people that say that uh, they didn't like the Tim Burton's Willy Wonka. And uh, maybe uh, switching to the original one may attire all, the, all, all that vote that didn't uh, come mm-hmm. out of that. Because, uh, you know, people on the internet uh, are very blaming about the, uh, the Chilean chocolate factory from Tim Burton. I don't know what. The, the most loved one is the one from uh, with Jim Wilder. Yeah. We don't want to switch to that because we want to drag the votes. We want to switch to that only because, uh, you know, it's uh, like uh, people it, are imagining Willy Wonka that way. Right. We want we want people to have their Willy Wonka, the Willy Wonka they like. Mm-hmm. Okay. That is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory because it's out of the book. Right. Apart from the very, very first Lego Ideas project, which was Lego Crusoe, uh, with the yeah. submarine, with the, um, I forgot its name, Shina... Shinka, Shinkai. Shinkai, yeah, that. 
I think that was the only one that was not modified at all from uh, start to uh, end product. Uh, ever since then, Lego always modifies every project that they approve. What if um, if you win? What is the one thing that you would want Lego to not change at all about your? If if you could only choose one thing, I would like to add the motorized waterfall. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, if if they remove that part, uh, something in my heart uh, says that it's not mm -hmm. my project anymore. Because yeah. uh, the first, uh, oh, okay, let's let's steer a little bit out of that. We wanted though, all the time to make a motorized waterfall as per is, mm -hmm. not considering challenging the chocolate factory. Ah, I see. But we always we were always talking about making a motorized waterfall. Well, our first uh, wish was to make a motorized waterfall that is actually carrying the one by one uh, transparent plates, but you know that is very very difficult. Mm -hmm. When it was about uh, uh, Chinese chocolate factory, we said, okay, we put the famous motorized waterfall in it. So as much as for me, I don't know for a friend if it is the same thing, but maybe he, he would say, no, I just want Augustus look to be in there. <laughs> I don't know. But for me, for me, it's the motorized waterfall. But Very nice. you know what? It's a problem I really would like to have to, to face. Uh, oh no, Lego is changing my, my program. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, if Lego is changing my, my project, uh, that means that it, it, it has been produced. At the end. Of, of course, it would be more the joy of having to reach such a difficult target because. Uh, I don't know if we get to 10,000, but if we do, we will do it with a lot of other projects. Right. Like the last, last time, out of, out of 35 projects, only one was chosen. Yes, and, and that was yesterday, I think, or the day before, yeah. 34 were rejected. So I think that Lego gave us a message, a double message. Uh, I was speaking about that with a friend yesterday. We were really worried because... Uh, we said, okay, Lego will change the rules or something in in uh, in the near future because too many projects are yeah. ten ten thousand, and they will do something about that. But they, as long as they say, okay, you can even have one hundred projects, but we will choose choose only one or two, and the other one we don't really care about those. People will be discouraged from. You know, submitting the ideas right. that don't really stand a chance. Yeah, it's a delicate middle ground here. Yeah, I I agree with you completely on that. At the same time, it's uh it's very overwhelming to have so many projects. And the uh, first uh, first big wave was what twenty three projects, and then there was another twenty something, and now thirty five. It's it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and it's it's harder to uh, to decide. Do you have any Lego idea projects for the future? Or it doesn't have to be anything built, but do you have any ideas in your mind for something in the future? And uh, if you could tell us, like, give us a sneak peek into... The, the, the answer for your question is yes. But um, we have already a, a second project that uh, is uh, at 500 votes, just uh, on this very, very low phase. It, it is a, a, a classic space a space shuttle. And oh, I've seen project. that one, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is, you know, mainly a joke. That is mainly ah. a joke because uh, the main character is one of our friends, and uh, we wanted to make uh, out a superhero out of him. Uh -huh. And uh, that superhero in our fantasy uh, drives a space shuttle. So we made the, uh, because, uh, you know, the, the person has a funny way to pronounce the, the word space shuttle in Italian. Uh -huh. So well, it, it became a meme here. Uh -huh. And uh, <laughs> we wanted to make a, an idea project out of it. And it was uh, bring, bringing him to tears when he saw it. <laughs> so, and uh, we are working on another project uh, that is uh, uh, revolving around another uh, IP, uh, but we don't know how, how much it is known on the internet. Uh, is uh, uh, you know, it's a promise that I made uh, to someone, and it's uh, um, a Joe Dever Lonswolf. 
Long Wolf. Jordan Long Wolf is a, a set of game book uh, which are based on a, a fantasy world like uh, uh, you know Dungeons and Dragons, a lot uh-huh. of games or stuff like that. And uh, it's very famous in Italy and uh, in the US. Um, the main problem is that uh, the main author of this, these books is dead, and uh, we are trying to gather his legacy. And right. Of course, uh, it, it, it also is in discussion for having uh, a, a, a series uh, on Netflix or something like that, uh, mm-hmm. an adaptation. And I am, I am working with uh, someone that is uh, doing a, a, a sort of castle that is the main uh, uh, monastery. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's uh, the main, uh, uh, you know, the main building of the old world story. Uh, we don't know how much it will take, and we don't even know if that will uh, reach idea uh, sooner or later. But you know, mm-hmm. we are just uh, working on that. It's um, it's always nice if something uh, coordinates like that, like you mentioned with the Netflix uh, movie or some sort of anniversary. The, that's when projects tend to gather a, a bit more attention because they're not only in the ideas context, they're out there on in cinemas or uh, on streaming services. And when I was uh, looking over uh, the Face Brick Up uh, profile on Lego Ideas, because I wanted to see uh, more of your projects, including the space shuttle, that's where I saw it. Um, I didn't know it was uh, it was a part of an inside joke. Now it's even more interesting to me if uh, if that's the case. But I saw you had a project from approximately four years ago, which was a, a small was it a cafe? It was a small building, wasn't it? What have you learned in all those years being on Lego Ideas? What um not only what have you learned, but what advice do you think people would need when making their own projects? Because Lego always tells you do it this way, do this this way, but it's always interesting to hear like a personal experience from someone who has actually been on the platform competing. What what are some of the uh, untold secrets that uh, people might want to know about making a successful ideas project? Okay. That was a long question. I'm sorry. No, 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 not a problem. But the main problem is that we would like to uh, be referred as a successful ideas builder once we hit ten ten thousand. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. For now. If I can advise someone, you have to do three things. The first thing is you have to do something that is interesting to the most of the people. I mean, uh, you know, uh, if I do something that I just do care about that, but it's not something that other people will care about that, it won't make any sense. Right. So this may be a problem for something like the Space Shuttle, if we didn't put uh, all that plastic uh, space stuff in it. Right. You know, guy, doing, doing only the Space Shuttle would mean doing something that is meaningful to me, to Roberto, and to some people that know the inside joke. Right. But, but painting it with all the classic space stuff and putting two classic space minifigures in the cores that were never produced, uh, will draw attention to the project. Right. And, uh, in, uh, you know, uh, three weeks, uh, it got read already 600 uh, people. And I didn't advertise that much because I'm focusing only on Chantley Angel Chocolate Factory. So the first the first advice I can give is uh, do something that is interesting for everybody. Mm-hmm. The second advice is uh, paint it good. I mean, if you do something very interesting, but it's not presented the, the good way, people will not see it. Or the casual voter, which is in the, not decided, is not uh, really convinced in promoting you. If you do present the project uh, a very nice way, that be, can be the 1% thing that pushes someone to vote for it right. instead of refraining from doing it. Right. The third advice is. Uh, you have to spam. Uh, you know, um, you have to spam only in the, uh, at most in the beginning phase. Mm-hmm. You have to be social, you have to contact, connect to people and convince them that your project is worth it. If you do that, you can reach the ideal position in the, in the um, 
you know, in the standings. And when you do, random people coming on the site will see your project because in, it's in the eye of your position. So what you have to do is, uh, in my opinion, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, you know, uh, for me it worked. Mm -hmm. is, uh, you don't have to say, okay, I have three years, so I can take it all the time, take it easy. No, you right. have to start, uh, you know, with the uh, maximum power at the beginning. Right. We are working now at, you know, I, I don't know how to say in English, but uh, at strokes now, because we have some idea to promote our project, and we say, okay, Let's wait three, four days, one week, ten days. When we say that people is not voting anymore, another stroke starts. Ah, I see. I understand what you mean. Mm -hmm. You give some people um, a reason to vote for you. You have to see that your news, your idea propagates through the internet right. and reaches all the people it can reach. Then the effect of that idea ends, and you have to push another one. Mm -hmm. This propagates again and ends. And then you have to push another one again. Right. And this may be contacting a newspaper. You know, I contact a newspaper, I talk to the people, they say, oh, your idea is good. Then we have also an advantage because no Italian and has ever been produced. So I can tell right. you the newspaper, I would be the first Italian to get produced. So I have an interesting story. For people who want to vote, well, we'll have that link in the description for your project so people can go and vote. But if they want to see uh, more about your other LEGO projects and what else you do with LEGO like that, uh, where can they find you? Do you have a website or uh, you talked, you mentioned a Facebook page. So there's yeah. that. Anything else uh, where we so can find you? Easy. Yeah, it's really easy because uh, Roberto has a web page. Uh, I had the website, but I didn't post much stuff in it and I closed it, but we both have an Instagram page and a Facebook page. We will provide you all the links. So all you right, can good. Mm -hmm. them. I, uh, Roberto is uh, you, very, uh, he has a, a lot of different interests. Uh, I'm mostly in uh, Castle Empire stuff and uh, my main problem is that I do collect uh, minifigures, uh, like hoarding them. Uh, like uh, probably I am one of the biggest collector in Italy of uh, minifigures, uh, and I probably specifically own, like, castle uh, empire minifigures or just uh, any kind. Uh, you know, mm, nearly any kind, but mostly those ones, and mm -hmm. probably I have. Uh, like 15,000 minifigures in my home, so yeah, I, I, I know that. <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's like a problem. You know, I'm, I can look around myself here in my room and see minifigures nearly everywhere. So, <laughs> wow, ah, you can't stop. Uh, on my Facebook page, I'm doing a, a diary in which uh, I uh, make shots on my minifigures uh, and put them on the page and on Instagram because uh, I would like to know if I have 10,000 uh, uh, minifigures out of Atmis, uh, like uh, uh, Fantasy Armies or Pirate uh -huh. Armies. Like that. And uh, I'm updating uh, two times per week uh, the number of the ones mm -hmm. I have. So you know you can see them on Facebook. Very nice. Okay, we'll have those um we'll have those available here in this video in the description and uh, all that. I am done with my questions. If there's anything else that you want to talk about, first I want to thank you because uh, you know for us uh, we keep on saying the very same phrase over and over, and it's uh, it's not the destination, it's the journey. Right. You know, during during the journey, you are meeting a lot of interesting people. I usually went uh, on Scareback Fun Weekend once per year, and uh, I couldn't reach Fire de Cura, but I would like to. You know, because for for me, I I, I go abroad uh, like three or two, three or four times per year for Lego stuff only, like uh, uh, Gunsburg, like uh, you know, uh, Scareback and mm -hmm. that. that and talk to place. And what I like the most is speaking with international people because that only makes you richer. It right. only teaches you lessons. 
you can when when you are like uh, in the international fun weekends, uh, you can meet people from all around the world, from you know Asia to South America, North America, and speaking with the, all those people that have the very same passion is so great. It's important for us to meet people, and uh, maybe you know this is the starting of something. Right, you maybe never we... know. You never know who you're gonna meet and what that is gonna mean for for you later on, yeah. Yeah, hey, Roberto, I always, uh, uh, you know, if you, if you want us again, uh, not talking about the challenge, the chocolate factory, you know, for any reason, uh, we are here. So, if you want some collaboration also, no Thank problem. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. That is, that's very kind of you. I, I, I'm very happy that, uh, that you contacted us for, um, with your project. I mean, I, I'm also... Uh, very uh, enthusiastic about uh, getting to know more people in the Lego community, um, especially internationally, like you mentioned, because uh, I, I see like the Lego experience is so different for everyone in part, and it just it's nice to to see how um, how the passion for Lego manifests differently in different people. So, so our goal was. As I said before, it was not the destination, but the journey. And all the people that we meet during the journey are important for us. From the person that only gives us one vote, yesterday uh, a, a guy was crazy. Uh, you know what he did? He, he just, uh, from nowhere, he put a, a contest and whoever uh, showed proofs, proof of voting us, as counting one, and then he makes a, a, an expression, and uh, uh, he randomly picks one guy from the, all the ones that voted, and gives us a Lego set for free to the person. And I say to him, wow. I want to pay for that Lego set. I want to pay. No, you don't have to pay. Yes, I want to pay. No, you don't have to pay. It's for my <laughs> You know, it, that was flat. That's amazing. Yeah, I, meeting I, people I, like that. I was, uh, I was really speechless, because, you know, I was not expecting that. So all the love that we have, we want to give that back. Well, uh, that would be it for the interview. Thank you once again for for uh, for coming on and uh, answering our questions. And uh, good luck, best of luck to you, you with uh, with uh, with your project. We'll put the link down in the description. Please vote for this project for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It's uh, as you see, it takes a lot of work to make projects like these, and uh, they need your support. Thank you, Jody. Um, best uh, best of luck, and uh, send our regards to Roberto as well. Of course. And uh, well, that's it for now. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye.